The aim of the experiment is to use oxidising agents to distinguish between aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes can undergo mild oxidation to become carboxylic acids due to their structures. However, ketones cannot undergo mild oxidation as shown. We insert an oxygen into the aldehyde. In ketones, there are no hydrogens attached to the carbon bonded to the oxygen, therefore it cannot be oxidised. As you can see, the aldehyde's functional group and it's one hydrogen. As you saw on the board, we take off the hydrogen, add in the oxygen, and you get the acid. Um, as you can see on the ketone, you have no hydrogen, so it cannot be oxidised. Before collecting the carbonyl compounds X and Y, boil some water in a kettle and pour it into a large beaker. Add about 3 cm in depth of acidified potassium dichromate solution to two clean test tubes, then add some of compound X to one test tube and some of compound Y to the other test tube. These reagents require the mixture to be heated, so we place both test tubes in a beaker and observe and record any changes. The compounds must not be heated with a naked flame, as the compounds are highly flammable, so we are using a water bath. To the two test tubes we have in the rack, we add about 3 centimetres of bedex solution to each. Next, we add about 5 drops of X to one test tube, and 5 drops of Y to the other. We then place both test tubes into the beaker of freshly boiled water to provide optimum temperatures. We then wait and watch for any Add 3 cm depth of tolerance agent to two very clean test tubes. Add 5 drops of compound X and 5, compounds, five drops of compound Y to the other. Place both test tubes in a water bath and observe any changes. As you can see, compound X will produce a silver mirror effect and compound Y will not.